Now, we, we mentioned a couple of different um, conditions there, short-sightedness, long-sightedness, astigmatism, etc., etc. Mm. Um, are all of those curable using laser vision correction? Actually, yes, actually, we can actually cure all of that. Actually, short-sightedness, long-sightedness, astigmatism is all now possible to completely correct it all the way. Okay, for, well, what is this laser vision correction? Because, yeah. you know, for all of us there, yeah. we're thinking of Star Wars type lasers, yes. you know. And a lot of people just use the general term LASIK. Yes. Right. Basically, it's, it's using a laser to actually treat, shiny on the top, the front of your eye and actually alter the shape of it. And by doing that, we can actually alter the power of your eye, actually. And it actually um, is done very quickly in a few seconds it takes and actually is a quite a comfortable and not at all uh, painful procedure. A few seconds? Yes, wow. it takes a few seconds, wow. yeah. So how does it work, actually? I mean, because obviously a laser is, um, you know, I mean, it's, it's a... It's a yeah, I think the... Cons concept of, as you said, you know, Star Wars and it's a very intense laser. Yeah. Actually, it's not really uh, that. We have many different types of lasers yeah. and the laser that we use on, on for your eye is a different type. It's a, called a cool laser and it doesn't burn or, or incinerate you or anything like so that. So I'm yeah. assuming cool is because it's cold, not because all the uh, ophthalmologists <laughs> think it's cool. <laughs> no, no. no. Okay, right. What, 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 okay, so what exactly does the laser do? Okay, basically, it, it, al it removes, it alters the shape of the uh, front of your eye. Right. Actually, basically, when you put your a contact lens on your eye, you see clearly, you know, and how does that ah, work, actually. Okay. It works by, because the lens has a certain shape right. in that lens, and when you put it on your eye, it neutralizes your natural shape of your eye and gives you this new shape that actually corrects the, mm. the right. prescription. So the laser just does this permanently? Yes, you just permanently edge that into your, onto your front of your eye and it gives you clear vision. Okay, That's so right. how do you know what, uh, <clears throat> or rather how to, uh, obviously it's on a case-by-case -case basis, mm. um, so they have to go for proper eye checks and everything right. first. So I imagine that process takes a little while. Yes, that does. You have to come in early to remove your contact lenses a few weeks before you get in, and then we will check and make sure the eye is fully uh, safe and, and uh, within the right criteria for us to do this treatment. Um, there are certain type criteria that you have to satisfy. Basically, your eye shouldn't be uh, having any other conditions like cataracts or okay. any other diseases of the eye that actually right. we can't really do it on, on your eye. Um, but once it is a normal eye, basically, uh, we can actually proceed. Mm. Okay. Now, um, you said the, uh, the you, you know, you look at the condition of the eye. Now, there are different types of um, laser correction surgery. Could you just talk us through the most common? Yes, I'll just basically there are two uh, broad categories of doing it. There's mm. one we actually the, the most common one is making a flap. Uh, on oh, the front that's of more the, common. Yes, that's the commonest procedure. So the uh, flap procedure. is uh, when you. So we get flap and no flap. Basically, yes, correct. Right? When okay, you now, remove the top layer. No flap layer. is just laser. Yes, flap is the one. That's the most I'm common. Basically, about. because it's the most comfortable and the most quick in recovery of your vision. Flap. Okay? Yes, mm. the flap. So really? Yeah, and when we do that, it's very comfortable and you return to, to normal work oh, okay. very quickly. So that, that is a very popular uh, treatment. Although it sounds more okay, complicated, well, you know yes. Just, just to, I mean, not to scare everybody out yeah. there, but, uh, you know, tell us again, flap. You actually make a... A flap on the front of your eye okay. where you put your contact lens on a tissue called a cornea. Okay. Okay, we use... We, the way of making the flap, uh, I mean, traditionally, we've been doing it with a special uh, machine that actually... Uh, Cuts so, the flap actually okay, right. in a very uh, precise manner, and after that, we or the other time is to use a, a laser actually to make that flap. So there are two methods of making the flaps nowadays. Right. Okay. Yeah. Now, just on the uh, we're looking at pictures here. What exactly yeah. is happening? This is just the eye examination mm -hmm. before uh, we we begin the the procedure. We just examine the eye to make sure everything is uh, pro properly set up. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. the laser. Is this for making the flap or is uh, this No, this no. is to just to doing the, 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 the procedure. Yeah, procedure. That's how you would look and eye. Right. So which brings us to a very important question. You're, the person undergoing this is actually awake the entire time, right? Yes, correct. So it doesn't it, hurt? Oh, no, it does hurt. We, but we do put an anesthetic on it, on your uh, eye. Yes, an eye drop, yeah, An it? eye drop, yes. It's not an injection or anything. We just put an eye drop on your eye and actually that... Uh, 
numbs the eye and you actually don't feel pain at all during oh, the whole procedure. Okay. And the procedure is just within minutes, it just takes place within minutes, so mm. it's not something that is, um, you're ready to okay. bear with it the whole well, time. Well, my question is, when you, cut, when you make a flap, right, um, obviously that will then have to be laid back down over the eye once yes. you're done. Mm. Yes. How long does that take to heal? Because once you have this flapping bit of eye in your... Okay, the flap actually has this ability, once we put it back on, it actually sticks uh, on by itself. We don't put any sutures or anything to so hold it on. Yeah, or anything like yeah that, right. it, it takes about. It, it can be moved, but actually, it, it's not. A, you can blink; it doesn't move. Oh, okay. But you shouldn't rub your eye or, or right. put any pressure on your eye by uh, pressing on it or anything. So, like would that. you have to wear a bandage or um, some sort not, of plastic? Cup really, not necessary. Eye, actually. eye patch for a couple of days. No, no not really. Okay. Actually, would you recommend it though? No, not no, at all. Yes, not normally, at all. You, after it's done, you just blink your eye, just avoid. Uh, pressing on it mm. for a week. It takes a week for that flap to really uh, stick on and after a week you are quite... Uh, and and does it feel uncomfortable during that time or not really? Um, during the first few hours after the surgery it's a little bit uncomfortable okay. uh, mm. when the anaesthetic wears off but um, once it's, that's done it's not. Well I guess the interesting thing will be that the, the effects of this, of this procedure are instantaneous, right? Yes. Yeah. So I guess you'll be so overwhelmed by the fact you can see without having to put contact lenses or glasses in that you'll kind of overlook the slight discomfort, is that right? Correct, yes, I mean, uh, um, definitely even after, immediately after the surgery, a lot of people would notice that it's already a bit clearer mm. than, than uh, what they were having before. And it just improves as the hours go by, actually. Right, so it gets better as the surgery. Yes, okay, yes, right. correct, yeah, and by okay. the next day, actually, it's really quite uh, clear vision, actually. But there are certain things that you have to, you know, just for a week or so, avoid doing, for example, say, could you go swimming? I mean, I know you probably have to avoid, like, um, blinking lights like in clubs or and smoke and things yeah. like that but what about things like um, swimming where, yeah, uh, you know, of course yes swimming because of all the water in your eye we mm. really don't want that because sometimes then you may get some infection and also we should sort of avoid all sort of swimming or maybe even uh, sports that require you to play you know, badminton or right. football all that, that that has to be avoided in the first few mm. weeks but actually we give you antibiotics and you just put your drops in your eye and take care of it and normally it, it's usually very uh, smooth the recovery. Okay. Well, how, is, are there a, is there an age limit for this or, or a, a minimum age? I mean, can children go for? Uh, um, normally, we would not do children. We'd normally, about eighteen and above. Basically, once the eyes because yeah, growing, is it yes, correct. The, mm. the prescription shall stabilizes. Then that would be something that then we can do. And the upper age limit. Well, normally we wouldn't want to do people much over fifty-five or so, basically, oh, okay. because they may get they may they are quite close to the age of. In, Getting developing cataracts, right. and that that is, is a separate procedure, and maybe they should do uh, better to do other mm. procedures. Why does cataracts may uh, stop you from doing the, the laser? Um, basically, a cataract is the cloudiness, clouding of your lens inside your eye, and when we do laser, we don't uh, touch that, or do we right. deal with that? So we right. treat it on the outside of your eye. So that uh, it's a completely different sort of. Uh, okay, so it's just because location. the before people wouldn't yes. see the difference. Yes, correct. Yeah, so we would actually do the cataract operation rather than a LASIK operation. Okay. okay. Now, if you do do LASIK, how um, will will the effects be lifelong and permanent? Act yes, it is actually a permanent procedure because mm -hmm. it permanently alter the shape of the front of your eye and it permanently all. But as you age and as you get older, there are changes going on in your eye anyway and, and your lens as I say sometimes you develop cataracts so all this can actually alter the the prescription in your eye but it just alters it mildly meaning maybe a 0.5 or 1 diopter change over time uh, but not like you can get back, back powerfully right, right. so you can Before, come back yeah. in for tune-ups yes you can also do a sort of a touch-up procedure okay, yes right. after many years maybe the prescription has come back and you want something done again then you can actually have a sort of a touch-up procedure oh great. great well thank you so much uh dr chung i hope you know just just kind of put everybody at ease to, yes. to say that it's well i don't know about the flap thing still but you know <laughs> it, it sounds like a good option if i ever need it and of yeah. course if people want more information they can go to www.optimax.com.my yes mm -hmm. actually we are having an open day to, uh, tomorrow from okay. onwards and then anyway you can just drop in on any of our branches and actually uh, have a look around. Go and have a look. Yes.